in a blink of an eye, it's time to do another camera review. Stay tuned and see what I say about this one. Hello, today we're going to be setting up the Blink Mini Indoor Plug-in HD Smart Security Camera. If you like today's video, I would appreciate the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you'll get updates for what's coming in the future. The Blink Mini Camera. This is a fairly new camera. It does offer a day and night HD vision. It has two-way audio, motion detection, the camera is supposed to work with the Alexa app and it does come with the app for your smart device. They currently offer cloud storage and they say they will have a local storage plan coming soon. From my understanding, the cloud storage is a subscription base. I have not dug into that piece yet, but we will be checking it out later. Within the box, comes the camera itself, a stand, mounting screws, power adapter, and a USB cable. This camera will require high-speed broadband, a minimum of two megs download. Let's dig into it. Okay, these are the items that are in the box, just as I said. The mounting plate is on the bottom of the camera itself. You have the mounting screws, your USB cable, and your adapter. I thought these were instructions at first, but they're not. They just talk a little bit about the product. The instructions are actually on the inside of the lid. Three simple steps. Packaging is secure, protects the camera, should be in pretty good shape. So let's get started with the setup. The very first step says download the Blink Home Monitor app. Plug in the camera is step two, and then step three is in the app, add your camera and follow the instructions. All right, we're going into the app store. We're going to go to the search button and we are going to search for Blink and it looks like it comes up as the first option Blink Home Monitor app that is the one that we want get past the ad and it's this one with the little B download it step number two is to plug in the camera it is giving us a blue flashing light and a solid green light. We're going to open up the app. Going to set up an account. Jump into email. To verify. Okay, I am in email. I'm pulling up the verification code. And yes, I'm getting a little help from my cat. Verifying the account. Allow. I'm selecting the mini camera. Allowing it. took the camera, read the scan code on the back. A system is a group of cameras that can be armed, disarmed, and scheduled together. Choose a system for your camera. It's just going to label this test for now. At this point it says plug in your camera, but I followed the steps on the box and I already plugged it in. I do have the 
blinking blue light. I'm going to discover it. Join the direct Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to my home network. Sending the information to the camera. Updating the firmware. Okay, I have a mini camera added to the test system. Okay, it seems like we're experiencing an issue with mirroring my phone. I'll just walk you through the steps right now. The screen that comes up, mini camera added to the test system. You just click done. At this point, it has a screen that says get to know your mini. Your new mini camera includes a speaker enabling two-way communication. Hold down the talk button during a live view session to talk. Release to listen. Using two-way talk requires microphone access to the Blink app. Grant microphone permission and then it prompts you to click OK to allow access to the microphone. Your video storage. Customers in the United States and Canada receive a free trial of the Blink subscription plan valid through December 31st, 2020. After the trial, you have the power to choose how you store your video clips in the cloud with the Blink subscription plan or locally with the Blink Sync Module 2. And I believe the Module 2 is due to be released later this year. Click OK. Tap to add a Blink device. It's a plus sign. I click on plus. It gives you a prompt showing that recorded clips can be found at the bottom. Click got it. You can take a photo of your screen as you're viewing something. You can also start a live view. All these are prompts that are popping up on the phone app. It's a tutorial to show you how to arm or disarm your camera. That's basically how you set up alerts and notifications that would come to you. Initially, the camera is listed on your app by its serial number, so you can rename it. I'm just going to name mine Home Test for the moment. Click OK. The name changes. I'm going to click on the Live View button. At this point, the camera is set up, so the setup process is very quick to get it live. <laughs> 